Hi and welcome to my channel, The Organised Mum Lifestyle. In this video I want to talk you through our cow van. We have a Jayco base station and we love it. This is what we use for our adventures. I am super organised, I love getting away with the kids and being organised on trips so we can make the most of the family at the age they are. So in this video I want to show you through what we have done to personalise our cow van. There's a few things that we've made changes to. We've done nearly 20,000 kilometres in our cow van. We continue to work full time, we don't live on the road. We've done two five week trips to Auckland, to Christchurch and back. We've done that twice. We have travelled around New Zealand in our caravan and do regular trips around the North Island. We've done over 150 nights in our caravan. So we've really learnt what we like, what changes we want to make and what tweaks we do. Although I have to say, we are still making changes. So I'm going to show you through some of the changes that we've done that personalise our caravan a little bit more to work for us. Okay, this is a really simple one and it's actually a really recent one. We've only just done this one. It's literally a piece of foam to stop you banging your head because the kids keep banging their heads when they come into our bed. They love coming into our bed, jumping around in the morning and guess what? They always bump their head. So particularly on that corner there, we've added a bit of personalisation. Now this one seems a design flaw. We had to move that light switch back because it was hitting against the curtains when you closed it. It didn't make any sense, so we moved it back a little bit and it makes all the difference. On the topic of the bed, one thing we do is we do not like the standard Jayco mattress. So we have that there and we put a mattress topper. I think we did one night before we realised how much we did not like the Jayco mattress. So we use the Jayco mattress. Then we have a mattress topper that we got from Brisco on top of it because it makes it so much warmer and so much cosier than the traditional Jayco mattress. I heard a lot of people say that in the reviews that that's the case. Now heading over here, we have standard the plug with the two USBs. What we've also done is we've put an extra plug in under here, which also has two USBs, just a standard plug that we installed. The other thing we've done, and this is a very strange thing, here you'll see these cables for the TV going into here. This red glowing light inside this cupboard is not standard. Normally this is on the outside of this cupboard, so all you get is a red glowing light at night glowing into your bed. Not only that, you've got these leads which are sticking out in the way of your bed. So we move this over to put the cables through here so that you don't have it and then put a blanking plate on where it was. This is great because it now means that this mattress isn't touching the cables and knocking them out because quite often we'd find that the 12 volt for the TV had come out because we'd knocked it with the bed. Not really a modification, but just a nice little place to show it. This is our little hoover that we then keep just there and we plug in to the new socket there. And then we can take the hoover out and then we can put it back on charge, ready for the next time we need it. Um, and it fits quite nicely in there. Only charges on 12 volt, volt when we're in power, but that's okay. So this one here is one of my favorites. This is the lights. So the lights come on. We've even done them underneath. We've got lights that we've fitted with strips that stick underneath and it's made such a difference to this comp this cupboard. They are on a little sensor so when you open the door you can see here. Makes a big difference I mean we can see right away to the back of these fantastic huge cupboards but without it it was very very dark. We went the first five week trip we didn't have this we actually fitted it afterwards and I'm so pleased. This here is a really simple modification. This is a very simple piece of blackout. It's cardboard with tape around it. Because what you tend to find is that this, when you close the roof, this is a gap. Now this gap remains and it brings light through. So particularly during the summer, you've now got this gap of light. We've done this both to the front and the back. And it's a really simple piece that slides in, it's cut to fit, and then it means that you've got complete darkness if you need it. Very strange I didn't think of that in the first place. In here we have, well, I'll call it our junk box. Let's ignore that, but our Wi-Fi. So we've got our Wi-Fi that we're quite pleased with. Behind is the original Wi-Fi, but we've managed to plug this Wi-Fi into the 12 volts. So it then connects exactly the same and can run when we're off, off grid. I'll do a separate video about this Wi-Fi and why it doesn't work and why we haven't removed it, but that's our Wi-Fi. 
The other thing in this cupboard, we've got hooks. We're parked up at home at the moment, so our hooks aren't hanging, but we'll hang our keys on there, which is really handy because it's so important you know where everything is. So we've just got basic hooks, which we hang, and that's right next to the door. In the bathroom, we've fitted some really simple corner suckers just to put everything on. The other thing we've done is these things had holes in, so we just used chopping boards. So these are just chopping boards, which we've cut to shape, which means we've got a bottom on them. We probably could have found better ones, but we're quite pleased with that. And we've also put hooks in, as many hooks as you possibly can, just these sticky back hooks that you can get. As many hooks as you can, because that's our drying room when we're away. This is our washing line. It doesn't look the best, but it does the job. So this is our washing line, which we've um, strung up alongside the bunks. We use it to dry things, particularly in the winter um, or even the swimming stuff, drying it above the kids. The kids sleep in these two bottom bunks, one in the cot, one in the bed. And then we've used this as our drying room. It works. Here is our cardboard with black tape on again. This is our LCD screen. This is at full brightness and it glows. So when we're in the dark here with everything off, it will glow and it's really quite irritating. So turning the power off, That is now gonna glow all night like that. You dim the screen and it only reduces down to this level. So it still continues to glow all night. So our modification is very simple with our cardboard and blackout, which is our blackout screen. I'm amazed they don't make something. As you can see here, we've also got labels. We've gone around and labeled everything. This took a long, long time before we did this because we were trying to remember what switch did what. More labels here. Finally, everything has a label and we can find it. This was a prime example. These are the outside floodlights. I used to always turn on the bedroom light thinking it was this one and I'd wake up the whole campsite by turning on the outside floodlights when I actually wanted this one because it doesn't make any sense for them to be that way around. Anyway, labeling has solved all that and we aren't making that mistake again. I would be open to suggestions for anyone who can suggest a mat for the shower, one of these inside showers. It's horrible when you're standing there with wet feet in the middle of the night after someone's had a shower. We've got this, we dry it with towels and things and then we use this when it's dry. Love this mat on the outside, but we'd like something that can soak it all up rather than something like this. Open for suggestions on that one. Not exactly a hack, but all my cupboards have baskets where I can keep everything in. Um, I also use this gripping on the bottom, particularly for this cupboard, to stop everything from rolling around. Look, there's the, the bubbles for the kids which I took off them. Uh, one of the things, just noting in here, I actually have proper mugs. I keep them inside this tray because I cannot stand the plasticky with my cup of tea. Maybe it's the English in me. So we do have proper mugs. The rest of it is all plastic inside the trays. These took a bit of testing. I've had a few different things in this cupboard, but these are just fridge trays. And they're just simple trays that you get for your fridge, which you can use, and they have found they fit quite well. Here's a very disorganized, messy one, but it does the same thing. I like them because they're clear and you can see what's in them. Straight away, you can see these are beauty products and you can see whose they are. We've got a collection of torches and messy things here, but at least we can see what's in them. Here we have clipped in the drawer that comes out of this cupboard because we were finding when we were traveling the drawer would open itself because it would lean against the door so it's a really simple baby lock which is nice and easy to unclip and locks the drawer in place when you're traveling we have velcroed all of our remotes in place because we got so fed up of losing them so nice and simple just sticky back velcro onto the back of the tv and we can put the remotes back and we know where to find them We've also done this with the remote for the surround sound system and nice and easy to put that back as well. We mentioned this one in our why we love our base station video because it's so simple. It's poppers. So we use it to put our storm covers away because without that we were having to have two people to put the storm covers away. A really easy solution just with two simple poppers to put the storm covers away inside the bed and a one person job. Here we've used flexi hose because it was a standard rigid pipe system for the two gas bottles. Replacing this for flexi hose makes it much much easier to replace the gas bottles. And finally we replaced the clips which the mattress is tied down with to some much stronger sturdier clips that will last a little bit longer and are much easier to put in place. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you got a few tips on things that you can do to make your caravan a little bit better and a little bit easier. Just a few simple things that we've done to make things a little bit easier and more enjoyable for our family. If you'd enjoyed this video and you want to see more tips and tricks and organisation on what we do to make the most of our family at the age they are, click subscribe and turn bell notifications on. I do updates every Friday on the Organised Mum lifestyle. I'll see you in my next video.